Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So today I want to talk about a new preview feature that is actually one that we've been asking for for quite some time, and that is the ability to link an email to multiple records inside of Dynamics 365. Now, an example for when this could be relevant is when a seller receives an email from a customer and then the data inside of that email right, could be related or regarding to multiple opportunities. Now, today we can only relate this email to one record inside of Dynamics 365, but with this feature, we're gonna be able to relate this email to multiple records inside of Dynamics 365. Now, there's actually a couple of gotchas that I want you to be aware of uh, that I will discuss in this video. The first thing that I want to explain as one of those gotchas is that this functionality has nothing to do with the existing regarding field. Let me actually go ahead and open up the email that I have here. Let me make this a little bit full screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So again, this is not additional functionality uh, that is extended to the regarding field, right? Instead, we now have a new column that is called related. Now, out of the box, right, this is not going to show up on your email form. So if you want people to kind of test this out in your sandbox, you're going to have to add that field to the body of that form. Now, let's talk a little bit about how this works, right? Very simple. Um, you can just go ahead and click here on this search icon, or you can just start selecting the records that you want to populate here in this related field. And you can see here, I currently have three different records in that related column. Now, what that means is that on, on the timeline of each of those individual records, we will now see this email message show up. So that's really the functionality here. And uh, again, nothing to do with the existing regarding field, a completely new field. These uh, related and regarding fields are completely independent of each other. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention here is the type of fields that these guys are. So the regarding, as you may or may not know, is a lookup field, but the related is actually a different type of field. So let me go ahead and show you that. So here we are in the email table and I'm gonna click on the columns to show you, let's just go ahead and scroll down a little bit to show you the difference between those two fields, right? So we have the regarding field, which again, like I mentioned earlier, is a lookup field and then the new related field, which is a party list field. Now, the importance here is that the regarding field, since it is a lookup, it actually has uh, relationships and the cascading behaviors that are related to that, right? Now, the related field is a party list and therefore it doesn't have any relationship settings. So what that means is that any record that is populated in the regarding field, that's the parent record for the email, right? So that when the parent is deleted, then the email will also be deleted, but we don't have that functionality in the related field, right? So if uh, there is an opportunity that's populated in the related field of the email, the opportunity gets deleted, email does not get deleted. That's kind of the difference between those two fields. Now let's go back to Dynamics 365 and back to this email. The other thing I wanted to show you here is, right, I can actually click here on this search icon and then click on advanced lookups. That is now going to show you all of the tables that are available to pick records from and populate them in that field. Now, this is another gotcha, right? Not all of the tables, as you can see here, are available. So if you want to add tables to be available here, right, for that related field in that email table, let me show you how you can do that. So again, we're gonna go back here to Power Apps and this particular time, I'm just gonna pick the account table and the only tables that will show up 
in that lookup, I'm going to click here on properties and I'm going to do advanced properties and scroll all the way down. Only tables that have this setting can have a contact email that have that setting enabled. They will show up as a table, right? From which you can populate records in that related uh, party list field on the email, uh, on the email table. Other thing to keep in mind is that once you have that setting enabled, as you can see, you cannot uncheck that, right? So you can't undo that, say, okay, I want to, I wanted to have a contact email now, but tomorrow I want to change that. So that's definitely not a setting that is available. So let's go back to Dynamics 365 here. The other thing I wanted to show you or I wanted to mention is that currently you can see that we have those three records populating populated in this related field. Now, any emails that are being now sent back and forth will automatically have those values in that related field populated. So if I now do a reply, reply to older Harry, those fields will be populated. If Harry then again uh, replies to me to the same email and I track that email inside of Dynamics 365, again, those related columns will already be pre-populated with that data. So it kind of honors that. The other thing that I wanted to mention lastly is that when you create a new email message from within a record, right? You can see here, I'm currently on the Harry Windsor contact record. And if I create a new email, you will note that there is nothing that's going to be pre-populated here in this related column. If I scroll down a little bit further, you will see that the regarding field, however, is populated with Harry Windsor, right? Now, there are some settings inside uh, of Dynamics 365. It's actually an environment database setting and it's called add parent entity to related on new activity create. Uh, and I'm actually going to drop a link uh, in the description of this video as well that has the instructions on how you can change those environment database settings. And if you change that, then the related field will be populated with the record from which you created the email message. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.